Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to Vinyl Treasures. I'm your host, Johnny G. John Galindo, coming to you live each and every Saturday, only here on Top Shelf. Always want to welcome you to the May 9th, 2015 Vinyl Treasure Show. Glad you can join Johnny G on this overcast day, the day before Mother's Day, but it was kind of warm. It was like in the, I don't know, was it like the low 80s? We're kind of getting a little humid here. I don't like it to get too hot too quick, but it was a nice day, a little overcast, but glad you can join me for the next two hours. Got some cool original Vinyl 45s out of my collection like that one there, and on last week's Vinyl Treasure Show, I opened up with the flip side of that 45, a song called Rock and Roll. You now heard both sides of that cool instrumental. A 45 by tenor saxman Red Prysock with a song Song he wrote, song entitled Little Jamie. That one there released in February of 1955. Red Prysock and his orchestra on the Pink Mercury record label. Pink Mercury stands for R&B Records. I feature a lot of them here for a Saturday evening, but we count down the music chronologically here. Let's open up with a few up-tempos here, and I never get tired of this next group out of New York City. They only had four overall releases on Best Berman's Apollo record label, and the A-sides of their 45s, they were mainly novelty tunes. I'm sure you know tunes like the Juicy Crocodile, the Bebop Mouse, What's the Matter for You, and their biggest hit, a song entitled Rang Tang Ding Dong, I'm the Japanese salmon, but their B-sides were excellent ballads. Songs like You Took My Love, Under Your Spell, I Beg For Your Love, and one cool up-tempo tune that we're going to give a listen to right now, the third of four they recorded on Best Berman's Apollo Records. This one from September 57, we open up the vocal portion with the cellos on Apollo, and their tune called Girly That I Love. Ooh. Oh, 
Those are the cellos to open up the vocal portion of the Vinyl Treasure Show. The cellos, September 1957, released the third of four. They recorded on the Apollo record label out of New York City. Their cool tune called Girly That I Love. Let's continue here. Another sound I'm very fond of are the female singers with male vocal group backing. As is the case with this next 45 on High Weiss's Old Town record label. It's the first of two for a group called the Coeds and the lead singer. She goes by the name of Gwen Edwards. This one from July of 1956. Alan Freed had a hand in playing this one on his wins program back in 1956. Old Town Records. These are the co-eds with their cool tune song entitled Love You Baby All the Time. Oh, what what you be do be do be do. July 1956 release there for the Coeds. The Coeds on High Weiss's Old Town record label featuring the voice, the female voice of Gwen Edwards there. The first of two on Old Town. That cool tune. I like that song. Love you, baby. All the time. John G loves you every Saturday when you tune into the Vinyl Treasure Show. Nothing but original Vinyl 45s. We are um, broadcasting live over Ustream, and uh, we were recording this when I got the recording button going. And I got an email from uh, YouTube. They said that they banned my videos in, like, a hundred countries, it seems like. It's probably like all over the world. And I had all these uh, th these companies, these copyright companies saying that I needed to remove the video. To, to rem I don't know how I could remove it. I'm playing original vinyl. It's not like I'm selling it. I don't get paid to do this. I love to play the records. I have the original copies here. You would figure that maybe somebody might go and buy your song for 99 cents but anyway they they said that they uh, didn't want they said i needed to remove that song or black out that song in order for it to be to be broadcast i mean uk they wouldn't allow i don't think i don't think you guys in the uk could see my youtube videos but i think you can see them on the Ustream. so you're going to have to tune in to the live broadcast and you'll have you can hear, also listen to it when i post it up uh, you can listen to the vocal of it, that's for sure, the sound. But for the visual, 
I don't know what their issue is. Anyway, enough of my babbling here. Let's continue here on the last uh, on the last two fifties edition of the Vinyl Treader Show. I featured uh, the debut single uh, by this group from Oklahoma. They were called the Dukes, and I played both sides of their first release. Uh, first, I played I think one of the week's Shimmies and the Shakes, and last week I um, played Teardrop Eyes. Great, rendi- great uh, original version of that tune. But here is their second on the Imperial record label from September of 56. These are the Dukes on Imperial and their tune called Winnie Brown. Winnie, Winnie, Winnie Brown. September 1956 release there for the Dukes. The Dukes on the Imperial Record Banner. They like that tune in the top shelf. Oldies Charmer song entitled Winnie Brown. Let's continue here. You know we count down the music chronologically here on the 50s edition of the Vinyl Treasure Show. 50s and early 60s we'll get to later on. But uh, as you know, we count it down chronologically. But this, and this one goes way back to 1951, actually. Uh, this song was recorded January 18th, 1951, but not released until April of that year. And, of course, it's by one of the classic vocal groups of all times. And they hail from Durham, North Carolina. This was their debut single under the name The Larks. As the releases prior to this uh, on the Apollo label, they were known as The Five Larks. And they did actually two earlier releases as the Southern Harmonaires. Probably only on 78, not 45. But anyway, this is their first release as the Larks, written by the lead singer. His name is Gene Mumford. This is on, Dennis, you said it was red. I think it's more like orange. Maybe it looks, I don't know if you want to call it red or orange vinyl. But it's a cool tune. I was so happy to find this 45. I had to pay some bucks for it. That's for sure. But it's from released in April of 1951. These are the Larks with Gene Mumford on lead. It's on Apollo Records. Give a listen to their tune. It's called When I Leave These Prison Walls. <laughs> Can't 
yams, yes, I'm going to boil. Now when I leave these prison walls, no more getting up at six and going to bed at ten. Cause when day breaks, baby, I'll just be dipping in. Yes, I'm gonna fall. Now when I leave these prison walls, I'm gonna catch the first thing smoking, going Chicago way. Now, baby, everything's gonna be okay. But you can dig me any time by the clock. Cause 47th Street, baby, is really my block. No more sloping banks and ditches with a pig. Cause I'm going out in a town and dig myself a chick. Yes, I'm gonna fall. Now when I leave these prison walls Gonna catch the first thing Chicago way Then everything is gonna be okay But you can dig me any time by the clock Seven, baby, is really my block. No more sloping banks and ditches with a pick. Cause I'm going out in a town and dig myself a chick. Yes, I'm gonna fall. When I leave this prison wall. Yeah, those, <laughs> those are the great larks, the larks with Gene Mumford on lead there. We go way back to April of 1951 there, the larks on Apollo with their tune called When I Leave These Prison Walls. I can't do anything about the pops on the 45. That is a quiet 45 for sure, but maybe the... Uh, the police on uh, YouTube will let that one slide by, or maybe there are going to be a whole bunch of people buying that 45. I don't know, maybe not. But at least you can buy the MP3. I mean, these are, I don't know why YouTube is doing that, or maybe it's not them. Maybe it's the copyright people. There's like five different copyright companies that are complaining about this which is really odd anyway let's continue here here is the debut 45 for another group they are out of los angeles california and johnny otis was instrumental with them landing a contract with sid nathan's federal record label and uh, with some personnel changes along the way this group later on went on to record as the tenderfoots as the sharps as, as the four after fives as the crenshaws and finally as the rivingtons but first they were known as the lamplight and here's their debut single, and it's on the silver top federal for you collectors out there. This one from August of 53. These are the Lamplighters on federal with their tune called Turn Me Loose. Tell a lie. 
August 1953 release there for the Lamplighters. That is their debut 45 on Sid Nathan's Federal Silvertop Federal record label for you collectors out there. A song entitled Turn Me Loose. I don't know who was doing lead on there. Thurston Harris was a member of that group. Also, Al Frazier was a member. And later on, Carl White was a member of of the Lamplighters or the Rivingtons, whatever you'd like to call it there anyway. But uh, that's a cool tune, Turn Me Loose. I guess we can play, what, Fabian's Turn Me Loose? Which one do you prefer? Anyway, enough of my babbling here. John G. here spinning original vinyl 45s out of my collection. We do it every Saturday from 10 to midnight. Pulled out 54 records, and I had a busy day as I had to pick up two bouquets of these uh, specially made bouquets for both uh, my mom and for Barbara's mom. And we had to do a little bit of shopping and whatnot, but uh, Charlene very helpful with some of the re- or a lot of the research for this evening's show. So thank you, Charlene, the Vinyl Treasure main researcher. So let's continue here. Let's stay in 1953 for this gal from Jackson, Tennessee, born Mabel Louise Smith. She began her professional career in 1936 with Dave Clark's Memphis Band, but her first recordings were back in 1944 with the Christine Chapman Orchestra, but her first solo recording was in 1947. She used the name Mabel Smith. It's uh, then uh, it was on the King record label. Then in 1952, she signed with the OK record label, and she changed her name to Big May Bell. Here is her third of ten she recorded on the OK record label. It's with Leroy Kirkland and his orchestra. As we go back to August of 1953, Big May Bell on OK, and her tune called Ginny Mule. Get up there, Mule! Get on up there! <laughs> you stumble an old fool Just like an old Jenny Mew You stumble an old fool you Just like an old Jenny Mew You won't say you love me you Just like an old Jenny Mew
yet There ain't no beds out in the street And even a mule has to work to eat Mmm, old fool, thank you, plain it real cool You won't say me love me You're just like an old jelly mule Won't oh, say you love me You think you plain it real cool Won't say me love me You're just like an old jelly mule You're a stubborn old fool You think you're plain and real cool You won't say you love me Just like an old jelly mule Won't say you love me Scratchy 45s here for a Saturday evening. It makes it sound so authentic. Well, it is authentic there from August of 1953. Big May Bell. Big May Bell on the OK Record banner. That is her third release on OK Records. Song entitled Ginny Mule. As we continue here, she has some bigger hits, some bigger R&B hits on the Savoy record label. Candy, I think, was one of her big hits on the R&B market. Enough of my babbling here. Let's continue. you got another rare 45 up next on George Goldner's G record label, but not that red and black G that you're used to seeing. Uh, this one is on the yellow and green G record label, and they are pretty much all rare records if you find anything on that green and yellow G label. I have G number 12 ready to play, as this group is called the Colonials. Well, really, it's Bill Bass... Bass Gordon and the Colonials, and uh, he is the lead singer. And he would later on, uh, he would go on to own the Teenage record label along with his uh, partner Ben Smith. Lots of great stuff on the Teenage label. But prior to that, he was singing with this group called the Colonials. Let's go back to October of 1954. Bill Bass Gordon and his Colonials on G, and their tune called Two Loves. Have I? Do up and did it and did it. Do up and did it and did it. Do up and did it and did it. Do two loves have I? And they tear me apart. Well, two loves have I. Both are in my heart. One is a flame. Well, and the other is part. Now two loves have I. I'm in a game mood. It's just then your life I pray. While other loves, my other lover makes me your slave. Oh, oh, he can't deny. Well, to both I am true. Now to loves have I. Both are in my heart. Mambo flavor on that 45 there, Bill Bass Gordon and his Colonials on uh, the G record label, George Goldner's Yellow and Green G record label, October 54 release for Two Loves Have I. I'm looking for that other group record 
on the G record label by the coins. Hopefully I will get one of those soon. Enough of my babbling here. Let's continue. Let's move into 1955. We go back out to the West Coast for a female male duet. As I have another one coming up later in the show, the male uh, singer here was a member of the Medallions on the Dutone record label. He was also the lead of the Bel Airs, who later on became the Vel Airs on the Flip record label. And he goes by the name of Donald Woods, and he is the male singer. No one seems to know who the female singer is. Someone thought maybe it was Trudy Williams of the Sixteens. It is not. It is too early for her. She was already starting to sing with the Sixteens, so she was not part of this duet and uh somebody on youtube said it was mary ann thomas of the ad libs no way because i seriously doubt that she was from new jersey and she would have been like nine years old when this 45 came out around june of 1959 but it was written by donald woods and it's their only release they go by the name of rosalie and donald Rosalie and Donald on Flip, this one from June of 55. Their tune is called Beginning of Our Love. Duets here on the Vinyl Treasure Show for a nice Saturday evening. And uh, that is that is Rosalie and Donnell. I think that's how you say it. Rosalie and Donnell, June 1955, release on the Flip Record banner there. Song entitled Beginning of Our Love. And let's continue here. Let's stay out on the West Coast. This time, Jake Porter's combo record label for this girl group called The Combonettes. And it's the first of three they recorded on the combo label. This group consisted of a young Janelle Hawkins, Mary Ann Miles, Dora Lee Pickett, and Darlene Powell. Of course, Janelle Hawkins and Mary Ann Miles, they went on to have solo careers. And uh, this is probably the most common of the three releases on the combo record label. I have this one like on a second press. 
and uh, I have this one that I'm featuring on the purple label. I thought I did have that red label, that shiny red label combo. If not, I will definitely have to get it because you know Johnny G is a completist. But anyway, let's give it a spin here from August 1955, the Combo Nets, the Combo Nets on Combo, and their tune called Hi Diddle Diddle. <laughs> I take it they mean a bass fiddle, though. That's what they mean. That fiddle at the end. They played a great sax, that's for sure. The Combinettes there, August 1955 release on the Combo record label song entitled Hi Diddle Diddle as I Play My Fiddle. John G here for a Saturday evening right here on Top Shelf Oldies featuring cool original vinyl 45s out of my collection. We are on the Ustream Broadcaster broadcasting live. You can see these vinyl 45s as a Den Dennis is teasing those in the chat room on what's coming up next as I know he likes this next record here as I really do also it was one of my aunt's favorite records but she didn't have the 45 she had it on the rumble album but I never get tired of this song a fantastic two-sided 45 for sure on Bobby Robinson's whirling disc record label the group is out of Brooklyn New York it's the first of two that they recorded on whirling disc features Hermit Montgomery on lead and then you will hear Danny Hicks he is providing that high the high solo parts in the background it's such a great record Danny Hicks wrote the song I actually Bobby Robinson gets credit too as they always would do but this is the intended a side such a great great record from New York City November 56 these are the Continentals on whirling disc and their classic tune song entitled dear Lord Oh, Yeah. 
Classic New York City sounds here on the Vinyl Treasures Show. November 56 there for the Continentals. Continentals on Whirling Dis, Hermit Montgomery on lead there. The uh, high falsetto of Danny, Danny Hicks. That is a great record, I say. Song entitled Dear Lord. The flip side is a great tune also. A song called Fine, Fine Frame. You know that's coming up next Saturday. Let's continue here. Let's stay in 1956. This next 45 is almost a duet. And uh, there are both a male and female leads here, but there is also a full group in the background. As This is another great two-sided 45. As This group is from the uh, Penn, Penn Township, Pennsylvania. But Steve, I don't think it's called Penn Township anymore. I think it's called Penn Hills now. But it's a, the male voice. He goes by the name of Leon Daniels. He wrote the tune. The female voice, her name is Anna Mae Jackson, who would later on record as Ann Keith on the Memo Record label in 59, if you're familiar with her tune called Lonely Girl. But here she is with Leon Daniels. They were known collectively as the El Vinos. This one from September of 1956, the El Vinos on the Groove record label, their tune called Now We're Together. Tumble out of Papa D. Now we're together, now we have a start I feel so good now that we're not apart Glad that we're married, glad that we're together I'll ever remember September 1956, released there on the RCA subsidiary Groove Records, the El Vinos. They're called the El Vinos, Anna Mae Jackson. She's the girl singing, and Leon Daniels, he's the male. Song entitled, Now We're Together. And uh, that one there, there is a cool tune. Actually, for you collectors out there, the true first press of this 
which I do have not in gray as great shape as this one, but this print is really, really small on the uh, first presses of this Elvino 45. Their follow-up is a great tune also, if you're familiar with their tune called My Heart Beats Faster. That one there came out on the Vic record label. Then it was re-released on RCA in 1964 as Times Square made it somewhat of a hit with the collectors of the Times Square, or the collector's market, we'll call it. Well, enough of my babbling here. Let's continue. Another one out of 1956. Always love to listen to this gal from Newark, New Jersey, born Cynthia Coleman. Her roots are in the gospel field, but she moved to R&B. And here's one. She's being backed up by a male group who had releases on their own on the same label. This one on Soul Rabinowitz's Baton record label. My favorite by the backup group is a song called Leave My Gal Alone from 1957. And uh, that backup group, they're called the Suburbans. They're backing up Ann Cole on this one with a song that she wrote a uh, with the David Clowney, a.k.a. Dave Baby Cortez. We go back to November of 1956, Ann Cole with the Suburbans. On Baton Records, her tune called In the Chapel. <laughs> Sounds of 1956 here on the Vinyl Treasure Show. That's a great tune there by Ann Cole with the Suburbans backing her up on that one on the Baton record label out of New York City. One of the thousands of labels that your host, Johnny G, collects. In the Chapel is the name of that tune. Let's continue with another one out of 56, but it's the Rockabilly Record of the Week for this artist from, is it Clay Clayburn, Texas? Clayburn, Texas. His real name is John Lewis Carroll, but uh, he never really had a hit. Never did, but he had some cool rockin' tunes. 
And here's his third release for the Decca record banner. And my copy's on the black Decca stock copy. And probably going to get a copyright problem with this because I know Decca was one of the ones that gave me trouble. Decca and Mercury, for sure. And also OK, my buddies over at Sony Music, I guess. Anyway, this one's from August of 1956. It's the Rockabilly Record of the Week on Decca Records. Johnny Carroll and his Hot Rocks with a song entitled Hot Rock. Well, come on, baby, shove the rug. Rockin' and rollin' beats, kissin' and huggin' Hot rock! Hot rock! Hot rock! Well, let's rock and roll tonight. Flame. Can't you should already know this game I rock I rock I rock We're in rock a baby hold me tight records with my last time on rock. the rockabilly record of the week there from august of 1956 on the deca record banner there johnny carroll and his hot rocks with a song entitled hot rock jaji here spinning original vinyl 45s as we do every saturday from 10 to midnight with a little bit of overtime we'll do tonight let's continue here when group collectors think of this next song they typically think of the harp tones, I'm sure. I'm almost positive about it. But really, this song goes back to 1946. And probably we can consider it a standard, which I think it is. And uh, it was covered by oh so many artists through the years. But the group Harmony Collectors mainly associated with the harp tones. But maybe some of you diehard collectors think of this group called the Highlanders on Larry Mead's Ray's record label when you think of this song. Louis Silvani thinks that this group is really the Squires on Vita, but it was proved that uh, it is not true. This group is out of San Diego, and they do a great rendition of the standard. Let's give it a spin. We go back to October of 1957. This on the Ray's record label. These are the Highlanders with their rendition of the tune Sunday kind of love I'm through with my own love I love her through and through I'm searching for a new love can a new love be you
met more than love at first time I want a Sunday kind of love Sunday kind of love I want a love that I'm square Can't seem to find somebody to care tunes here for a Saturday evening. That one there out of California, Hollywood, California, on the Rays record label, October 57, the Highlanders. Highlanders with their cover of A Sunday Kind of Love. It's a Saturday kind of record night here on Top Shelf Always when John G. spins original vinyl 45s out of my collection. We are taping this on the Ustream broadcaster, and I will post this on YouTube, but I don't know who can see it. I know people in the U.S. can see it, but they banned it like a 100 countries. I was reading them off to Barbara today on the, the email I received, the countries that they were it was like every country you can think of really was but you can still listen to the uh to the taping i tape it for a download or streaming uh, hi-fi tim has the links on the top shelf oldies network you can go to vinyltreasures.net also to hear the show on the archive let's continue we are one more out of 1957 earlier i played a duet on the flip record label by rosalie and don l well here is another duet and uh, not too long ago we lost this artist, Raul Sita, who was the manager of the Harp Tones, but he did some recordings too. And he is the male part of this duet. The female, she's from Washington, D.C. She goes by the name of Gloria Hawkins. So uh, they're, call they, they're called, this duet is called Roy and Gloria, as Roy happens to be uh, the nickname for Raul, or at least that's what some of his friends called him. But anyway, it's the first of two on Sid Nathan's Deluxe Record Label. This one from September of 57, Roy and Gloria on Deluxe. Their tune's called So Good, So Fine, You're Mine. <laughs>
so fine. Yeah, man. Duets here on the Vinyl Treasure Show. Roy and Gloria, the first of two they recorded. On Sid Nathan's deluxe record label, Roy is really Raul Sita Gloria. Her name is Gloria Hawkins. So good, so fine your mind. Dennis mentioned that the harp tones also recorded this. What flip side was that, Dennis, that they recorded? I should check my Kreider book on that one. Let's continue here. Let's move into 1958 for this artist. He is also out of California. His biggest hit was a song called Kathleen that uh, originally came out on the Tally record label, but then Dot Records, they picked it up. He followed it up with this tune on the Dot record label, and I like this type of sound, actually kind of like a country crossover, a rock ballad or something you want to call it as my aunt would like these types of sounds too very similar to like sandy by larry hall and some others that she had but uh, this one's from may of 1958 he goes by the name of wally lewis wally lewis on dot and his tune called white bobby socks <laughs> Time I saw you walking down the street in your white bobby socks. You look so sweet in your white bobby socks. White bobby socks. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. As I stood and watched you, you looked so neat. White bobby socks clinging to your feet with your white bobby socks. White bobby socks. Uh -huh. Oh, how I'd love to kiss your lips and never, never stop. And how I'd like to walk beside your white bobby socks. If I were a king, you'd be my queen. I'd be so happy if you'd wear my ring with your white bobby socks. White bobby socks. Uh -huh. Oh, how I'd love to kiss your lips. And never, never stop And how I'd like to walk beside your white bobby socks If I were a king, you'd be my queen I'd be so happy if you'd wear my ring With your white bobby socks White bobby socks May 1958 released there for Wally Lewis. Wally Lewis on the Dot record label, the Dot record label there, White Bobby Socks. Who wears Bobby Socks? Now, I had Bobby Socks. I don't know if you, you don't call them Bobby Socks. You call them White Sweat Socks. I think I had those on today when I went out with Barbara. I guess we can't say Bobby Socks. Anyway, he has other releases on the Liberty record label. I have a few of his releases. I'll have to check them out. But I like that kind of sound. I don't know what it is. It's either the guitar or whatever it is. But I like that sound. My aunt liked it too and she would have records like that and she'd have some really cool r&b sounds and later on soulful sounds but that's a cool tune enough of my babbling here let's continue let's flip over a, a 45 from last week's vinyl treasure show from this group out of the bronx new york this bronx quintet i played my dj copy of this which was an alternate take 
of Genie. But the flip is the same as the yellow stock copy. It features Carl Petrus on lead. And this was a 45 that my aunt purchased as she liked this sound too. She played both sides of the 45s. These are the unique teens. We go back to September of 1958. This is the B side of the 45 featuring it on Hanover. The unique teens with their tune called At the Ball. Uh, hey. Besides, here on the Vinyl Treasure Show, those are the unique teens. September 1958, Carl Petrus on lead their Hanover Records. Hanover Records for that one, their tune call at the ball. Let's continue. Let's stay in 1958. Really have no info on this next group, though. The only thing I can tell you, it's on the Tempest label, which is out of Peoria, Illinois. And the song is a cover Originally done by Marvin and Johnny back in July of 1954 on the Modern Label. And others have covered this tune also. One that comes to mind is Skip and Flip. They covered this tune, came out on the Brent Record Label, a 45 that my aunt bought in 1960. But this one is from 1958. It's a cover tune. The group is called The Volcanoes. The Volcanoes on Tempest and their rendition of the tune Cherry Pie Cherry Cherry Pie Cherry Cherry Pie Cherry Cherry Pie Oh so good Oh baby Like the deck 
Interesting sound there. Girl group sound there. Group called the Volcanoes. <laughs> hey, girls, do you know, called the Volcanoes. Anyway, that one's from 1958 on the Tempest record label. You know, the Rockin' R's label. And the Volcanoes there with their rendition of the tune Cherry Pie. John G. did not have Cherry Pie. I had... I had to rice pudding yesterday. I shouldn't. I was good all week. I got down to my lowest weight, and I kind of blew it. Barbara and I went out to uh, out to dinner at the Chart House, and uh, I, I had red snapper, but uh, I had the bread was great to dip in that oil that they give you, but I... I can't do that, folks. Anyway, but I didn't have cherry pie. No, I did not. Let's continue here. Let's stay in 1958 for this group out of Harlem, New York. This is the B-side of their debut single. And the, orig the original group members consisted of Ernest Goody, Robert Jeffers, Sonny Johnson, Earl Marcus, and John Marcus. Collectively, they were known as as the Laddins, and this is their this is their first release on the Central label. And for you collectors out there, the first press has to be on the Yellow Central. It also came out on the Pink label Central. But that's the second. Let's go to June of '58. The Laddins on Central, and their tune called "Did It." Boom, 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 did it. Without you, sweetheart, my heart would be in so much pain. For I'm in love, and you're to play. My, 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 my baby, I love you so, so, oh, so much, I really need you. I drill, drill to your touch when you kiss, 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 kiss me, baby, chill. They're called the Laddins. The Laddins there. I don't know, Dennis. I don't know if he was a member of the the uh, the original, the first group, the Laddins. I, I know he joined later on, for sure. But I didn't see it. I checked uh, Ferdy Gonzalez's disco file, and that's where I got the names of the group members. He actually gives you the names on uh, different releases that they did. So because they had other releases. Yeah, I think the after this, yes, oh baby, yes. I don't think I saw his name on that one. I think it was later on. The other later releases by the Laddins. But that's a cool tune. That's actually a B side there from June of 1958. The Laddins on the Central label and their cool tune song entitled Did It. Let's continue here. Have another flip from a uh, last week's Vinyl Treasure Show. As this singer was a member of the Dell Vikings, but he left the group as he was in the service and they transferred him to Germany 
But uh, while on leave, he came back to the U.S. and he recorded 145 on Joe Carlton's Carlton record label last week. I featured the up-tempo side, which was the B side of the record, a song called My Chick Is Fine. But this is the A side of the 45 that was pushed uh, by the disc jockeys. And he also co-wrote the tune. His name is Gus Backus. This one from October 58, Carlton Records. Gus Backus with his tune called You Can't. Go it alone. You kiss her goodnight on her doorstep, then you walk home alone to the park, and there in your room by your ballad there that is Gus Backus Gus Backus from October 1958 and Joe Carlton's Carlton record label out of New York City song and title you can't go it alone hi-fi Tim is in the uh, chat room he likes that tune hi-fi Tim will send it out to you he is host of the hi-fi party here on Monday evenings on top shelf oldies from 8 to 11 so tune in on Monday evenings for some cool 45s and he has a record wall and uh, very similar to how Johnny G's record wall is, I am holding up the 45s for you to see. But Tim has his 45s posted on his record wall. Yes, he does. Let's continue here for a Saturday evening. Let's stay in 1958. This group is out of New Haven, Connecticut. This is their debut 45 on Michael Corda's little record label. And it features Jimmy Colwell on lead. And this one from June of 1958, they're called the Cat. Catalinas. It's on the little record label, and their tune's called Castle of Love. Do, do, do. Ah. Come to the castle, the castle of love. Ah. Come to the 
Jesus of love. I pray to my knees to heaven above. Here go the Catalinas. The Catalinas, they're out of New Haven, Connecticut. June 1958 release on the little record label, the song entitled The Castle of Love. And they also backed up Joey D that also recorded on this little record label. If you're familiar with a tune called Lorraine, back with the girl I walked to school. And this 45 it came out again in 1959 as uh, the owner of the little record label sold it to OK Records. And then they re-released it in 1959 as The Buddies. And... Uh, the uh, that one there was uh, they sold it in September of '59. So then, anyway, there you go. You can get the record cheaper on OK by the Buddies. Enough of my babbling here. Let's continue. And on last week's Vinyl Treasure Show, I featured the first group that uh, the late Ben E. King was a member of. They were called the Crowns. Really, they go back. Some of those members were from the Five Crowns. That to go back to the early Rainbow releases, but. Um, while a member of that group, he was using his real name, Benjamin Earl Nelson, but he changed it in early 1959 to Benny King. And we heard the A side of this 45. It was called Kiss and Make Up. This is the B side as we go to Doc Pomus and Mort Schumann's R&B a record label and uh, the lead singer on this side is James Papa Clark and he was the main lead on all the early five crowns material on rainbow let's go to February of 1958 the crowns on R&B with their tune called I'll forget about you <laughs> Johnny G gets <laughs> tongue-tied here. Looks like my broadcast froze there. Maybe you're not looking if the picture froze. I don't know what's going on here. Anyway, John G loses his place there. We just heard the crowns. The crowns on the R&B record label here with a song entitled I'll Forget About You. Here's my paper. It fell behind me. Yes, it did. 
Anyway, there, that's 1958, The Crowns with I'll Forget About You. I'll get that uh, picture going back there, folks. Let's continue here. I featured the A-side of this 45 on last week's Vinyl Treasure Show, the debut single for Vince Castro, a song called Bong Bong, I Love You Madly. The girl group backing him up on that one were the Tonettes, who also had a cool 45 out that same year, a great record called Oh What a Baby. They're backing him up on the flip side, too. This is Bronx-owned uh, owned Vince Castro and the Tonettes. This is the B-side of Bong Bong with a tune that he wrote from August of 58. Vince Castro on Apt. His tunes called You're My Girl. 